I would like to introduce Gerrit Höfferer. Gerrit Höfferer lectures at the Teachers Training College Vienna and is head of Böckwe, the Association of Arts, Textile, Design, Teachers of Austria. She is graduated with a master degree in art education from the University of Applied Arts, and she taught uh, philosophy, arts, philosophy, psychology, as well as performing arts at grammar schools in Vienna. Her work focuses on a transdisciplinary approach to art education. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, now I present today here uh, a study, um, a, a research and learning project uh, called so uh, uh, supported by social, uh, by a social video learning technique. Uh, this presentation uh, combines the relatively new use of social video learning within the framework of blended learning scenario with an explorative learning and research project, project with graduated art teachers from Viennese secondary schools. When employed during the online phase of a blended learning scenario, social video learning enables possibility participants to contribute comments uh, that pinpoint specific moments of the video or portions to the image on screen and to share those comments uh, among themselves. Uh, from this foundation, there arise interesting learning opportunities regarding the situation-specific interpretation of the video material as well as the mediation of appropriate interpretations in the learning group. This intervention scenario delivers interesting artifacts for analyzing the learner's construction and deconstruction processes in the form of the accumulated video commentary, a kind of byproduct to the approach. The processing of visual performances of gender will be examined in the context of cultural analysis, uh, analytical education research. The result of the mix of the intervention and analysis scenarios is intended to answer the question um, of whatever social with the learning in the blended format is an appropriate way to promote competences and visual literacy of visual, visual arts teachers and to answer the questions how the assignment architecture must be designed for productive collaborative working and learning. The data resulting from the product will be evaluated qualitatively and quantitatively within a triangulation framework. Teacher training and education has always been the subject of controversial debates. In addition to structural, uh, structural organized measures, media supported innovations have been discussed again and again. In any case, the didactic design of the learning environment is always at the center. Since uh, 2009, the didactic potential of working with videos through annotation, commenting, and sharing has been explored in the German-speaking world and scientifically examined and exper in experimental field studies. Um, um, now I will... Uh, explain and show you my project. I'm working with uh, the so-called EduBreak campus. EduBreak campus is a special online learning environment. Uh, it supports uh, uh, a group technology of learning. It's the first time that this technology is used uh, or, or applied in the uh, context of art education. In former times, uh, or, or it's mostly used in the context of sports. It supports um, physical techniques, uh, but it has also been applied in, land, in a project uh, with landscape ar architectures, edu uh, with educators on elementary school teachers for music pedagogies and postgraduate courses. Okay. Uh, if you do, uh, if you design such a um, uh, model, you have to uh, you have to, uh, to to plan a sequence how, how the project will uh, go on. 
uh, this was my project, or this was my sequence. Here you see we have, at first, we have an online survey. I did it with uh, Viennese art teachers, graduated teachers, uh, that were interesting to, to take part at this uh, project. Uh, and these teachers were, the youngest was 25 years old, the oldest was 45 years old. Years, years old. Uh, the first survey uh, was concerned about topics related to art, visual culture, popular culture in the context of gender. Now here I present only three questions. Uh, from this way, I would like to know which uh, artists from the 20s and 21st century were the most mentioned in the uh, art education. Now you see some names here, very important names. Um, Cindy Sherman, Ron Mick, Louis Bourgeois, also many contemporary artists. Then I asked uh, in which context they are used in schools. You, uh, the answer were in context of gender, violence, bodies, uh, ideals of beauty, snap, snapshot, representation, childhood art and sexuality, constructivism, visual communication, art market, abstraction, surrealism, psychoanalysis, feminism, propaganda, purism, performance art, media theory, media culture, biography. Uh, we were specialized in this project to use uh, photographic performances because uh, the medium photography is a media that's uh, very often mentioned that it's very, uh, very near to, real, uh, to realism and that's why the media uh, um, um, but, but the media is not present in the head of the, of the perception. Uh, and you don't think about that it's made with the media. It's very close, it's very natural. Uh, about uh, social media or blended social media learning, blended means to mix uh, different kinds of materials or methods. And uh, so blended, uh, social blended video learning uses um, uh, videos, uh, a working group, a collaborative working group, um, comments videos, shares knowledge, uh, and uh, works in online or in presence phases together. This is also a mix of presence and online learning. An instructor can upload video material of their choice to the online learning environment, assign the material to a defined group of particip participants, create observation task, and invite particip uh, participants to engage in video fraction and collaboration. Every participant, directed and oriented by the given assignment, can contribute and save pinpointed comments on the video during the processing period. The commenting feature enables not only text-based comment, but also visual markers, square circles and arrows, as well as visual tags, red, yellow, and green traffic light colors for classifying and annotating the situation. In the learning environment, all the members of the learning group or all the course participants can create video comments in and on the video, and because they can also comment on the comments of their fellow participants, the video comments become the motivation and the medium for exchanges within the learning group. That's why it's called social video learning. This exchange is supported by a special assignment design as well as by the video player's filtering feature. Various forms of didactic potential derive from this technical approach. Firstly, participants are challenged to be more than just passive consumers of video content. Instead, they verbalize their thinking and interpretation and specific moment of the videos. Moments they select themselves, creating a kind of semiotic act. In general, not only does this have a positive effect to the participants' motivation, the verbalization also promotes the reflection process and the use of technical terminology. Secondly, the collection and transparency 
of all the participants' video commentary offers the change for them to see different perspectives and to enter into an exchange through feedback or recommending. In this sense, the mediation of rich and diverse perspective is possible, resulting in social video learning. Also, uh, or, yeah. And now I will uh, present my project, give you some insights in this project. Here you see uh, the surface of this EduBreak campus of this uh, platform. Uh, you can invite, there is an instructor, and the instructor invites the participants to take part on this session, on this uh, uh, working tools. Yeah? I have anonymized uh, the, the participants, uh, the participants um, uh, do the personal profiles. They can't, can communicate uh, among themselves about uh, email, or they can do blogs, or they can do uh, video comments. There are different modes of display of this um, uh, surface. And you can see who is online now in the community. I did some snapshots, yeah? Uh, this is the assignment architecture. At first, the instructor has to design what do they have to do, what do you want to learn, what possibilities uh, have the participant, can they also upload video, can they also post documents, course documents, what are the, the um, what can they do? Yeah, and uh, this platform also show you a timetable, a graphic timetable, how long the uh, the uh, several tasks have to be um, made. Then you see here uh, you can also post some course documents. These course documents. Uh, could be read by everyone, or this could be also a common, uh, a common mode of, uh, of reading, lecturing, and learning. And also the, the uh, participants can post documents and share documents and talk about documents. This is another view also of this document. Uh, then uh, the center and the nucleus of this project is to command videos. Yeah? The instructor um, uploads some videos, uh, and these videos were uh, prepared by the special EduBreak video player. The video player is enriched with some skills and tools. I will show you at the next sheet. Yeah. For instance, if you say you would like to do this social video learning project in form of inverted classrooms, inverted classroom means, yeah, or, in, or in this context of social video learning, it means at first when the course starts, uh, the participants get uh, invited, they log in, and then they have to at first to watch a video, this is a learn video, so, and after they have watched the video, they should have a similar level of knowledge, and then they have to do some tests about this topic. Yeah? In this way, uh, for example, is about uh, um, um, post-colonialism. Huh? We have here a very important theorist, uh, Bell Hooks, of post-colonialism. Uh, she uh, explains what is meant by them within the context of cultural criticism uh, about rap music. This would be one way, but you don't have to do it with a an, with an learning video in form of flipped classroom. The, the course can also start in another way. Uh, this was, uh, we worked with screen videos. That means the instructor at first uh, produces a screen video where the project is, uh, where, uh, where I explain the project. And then the participants have the possibility to stop the video. You see it here uh, on the line. Uh, the video player or the EduBreak video player where the videos were prepared, you can stop this video frame by frame exactly, then post your comment. Yeah? And this comment will be shown in different ways. You can pop up it on one side, then you have on the right side all the comments the participants have made. They have reflected on comments from the other one, and so you have such a, a second order um, reflection process. 
what is important, yeah? They, they stop the video on this point where they think, oh, I have something to say that's important for me. I have an idea, an association or something else, or theory, whatever. Uh, there's another way of display. You can uh, also show uh -huh, how many comments were made by one person directly, yeah? or different ways of, of, of displays. Also here, another video we, we uh, chose, with, this is, it's a stop motion video about PowerPoint Barber. It's my, my, at the moment very modern or very actual because our powerful men <laughs> are very important. Yeah? And the project uh, tried to combine uh, gender themes and gender topics from art and visual culture and pop culture. Yeah? And the aim is to, to strengthen and to improve the competencies of art teachers in teaching gender topics in, in art education. And use this, uh, use this tool and then share the knowledge. Yeah, these are also the different kinds of views. You can also uh, um, draw into the video you can stop the video, make some comments, and draw in. Or you, uh, this was a, um, a video about um, Kane West, yeah? rap music. At first, we had post-colonial theory about rap music. And then one participant posted this video. We put it on the surface. And then it was commanded. This is a split clean video. You see on the right side a parody of the original video. And this was uh, a command. Uh, um, uh, a comment of one person who stopped and had the idea, uh -huh, it relies me or it's very sexistic. Uh, the body of the women is presented like a landscape. It, uh, it reflects or is related and linked to the uh, philosophical theory of the uh, ancient Greeks, the dualism of nature and culture. Here you see the other comments from the other participants. It, another person also said, oh, with this video, it's, it's very well uh, to learn video codes or movie codes. It has many didactical uh, potential. Uh, another participant said, oh, when we, at first we had an online phase about two weeks. Yeah? We only communicated online, did the exercises online, and then we met together to deepen our discussion, to share new knowledge. And after this uh, present phase, new uh, material was posted, new material was commanded, and also recommended where uh, postings and comments from the first uh, uh, online phase. Yeah? You can reflect on your reflection. Um, yeah. The uh, idea was, uh, or one, uh, one idea or one comment was also to how to work with, uh, with pupils or students in school to use the Bechtel test. The Bechtel test uh, um, is, was created by, um, uh, by, by Alice Bechtel in, in 1984. Alison Bechtel, in her comic Dykes to Watch Out For, she, promo uh, she uh, established through rules for films uh, that um, are not, that can be analyzed by these three rules. These rule, three rules uh, stand for sexism. And she said every film or uh, any film can pass through the Bechtel test who uh, has a scene with, with, in which one or two named female characters have a conservation uh, about anything else besides men. I think this would be very funny also for students or for people when they are watching their uh, favorite films yeah, and they are very, and they can uh, uh, do this test. Films uh, that didn't pass the Bechtel test were, for example, uh, Harry Potter or Slumdog Millionaire or um, Avatar and something else. Uh, another potential uh, that was mentioned during uh, doing this course uh, was an artistic potential. One participant said, this collaborative media art project, this video 
um, this Edubreak video player should be or could be enriched with other skills and tools, with other functions like drawing tools, writing and cutting and ed editing tools, and then we can create a, col a collaborative uh, art project. Uh, a dream of the surrealistic uh, community could be realized in that way that we work together online and the online process, the growing process is made visible. These were only some uh, views or some aspects about this EduBreak uh, social blended video learning in art education. Thank you.